How to make an interactive PDF flipbook ebook easy tutorials for beginners. Hi guys, all welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to make an interactive PDF flipbook ebook. So let's get started. What is a flipbook ebook? Whenever we create PDF ebooks, we know that they are in the form of documents and we have to scroll down to read all of the different documents. But when it comes to a flipbook, it gives us an interactive way to flip the pages of our PDF and it actually looks really good. And if you deal in ebooks, if you create ebooks, then this is going to be a really helpful tutorial for you guys. I will show you how to simply create an interactive PDF flipbook ebook for free. So first of all, we will have to go to canva.com on Canva, we can create our document first, our PDF, and then we will use another tool to convert that PDF into a flip book. First of all, you can click on the templates right here and you can select the template of document. So you can choose from different templates available, or you can start from the scratch. So I'm going to create one from the blank. Here we have our document page and this is going to be like the first page of my PDF book. So first what you need to do is if you want to change the color, you can do that or you can go to the text section here. We can add a heading and I'm going to go ahead and add the heading right here. So this is the name for our PDF book. All right. Now we're going to place it right here. In order to change the font of the text, you will select the text. And then you can go to the fonts and we're going to select a bold font for our text. We can also adjust the size and I'm going to make it a little bigger. Then once it's done, we can select this option to decrease the line spacing a little bit. And then we can also go to the alignment and change the alignment of the text. I'm going to go with this one and I'll place it right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to again select a text, manage content one and change the color to white. So I'm going to change the color for the box that I just added. And the color is going to be purple. And I'm going to just do it this way. We can actually increase the line spacing a little bit. Okay, this looks good. So here we have our text ready. We can add some of the different elements to our, you know, first cover of our PDF. So for that, we can go to the element section on Canva. Canva is a very good designing tool with a lot of different features. We can also add images in the frame or we can add different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again go to the lines and shapes and look for a rectangle, I guess, or I'm going to look for the shape that I have in my mind or I think a rectangle will do. So I'm going to select the same color rectangle. We can, of course, change the color from this option and I'm going to tilt it all the way. And then I'm just going to place it right here at the corner. Perfect. So this is going to be the first page for my PDF. Now let's add another page by clicking on this option. Now you will add all the text you want to to your documents right here and we will create a PDF. For the second page, what I can do is I can maybe add a content page, a sign up form, something like this. And then for another page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the text. Of course, you will do according to you. What I am doing is I am just, you know, getting some of the pages from the templates available here. So it becomes really easy for us. And what I'm going to do is let's actually add this one. This is just going to be a text. But what I will do is I will change the color here to kind of like blend it in with my Okay, perfect. So we have this that I'm going to add another page. You will add the pages again, the different documents that you have prepared for your PDF. I am just adding according to the different templates so that I have like a PDF document to so I can convert it into a flip book. Let's say you want to add like a PDF for writing. Perfect. And then you can prepare your last page. This way you will have your own PDF created. You will have your own book created, a document created, and we will save it as a PDF. On our Canva, we can actually create really good PDFs and it helps us to create our own uh, flip books and it allows us to create our own PDF books. So for my PDF, I have 10 pages, uh, let's say, and now we are good to go. I will save it as a PDF. Okay. Or once it's ready, you can just click on the share option and wait a minute here. 
Now you will go to a platform known as isru.com. ISRU is a free platform and you can choose from different plans as well. I'm going to get started with the free one. Click on get started. Then you can sign up with your Google account or Facebook. I'm going to sign up with Google and it will take you right here. You can see it's very similar to the look of Canva and we can create our own menus here. We can create flipbooks and more. So what you need to do now is you will go back to your Canva and you will click on inch here. What you're going to do is click on more and you're going to search for Easter right here. Click on use. It will ask you to sign into your issue. This is the one that I have. Click on connect, accept. And now you can see select all the 10 pages. Click on save. Preparing your design and this document is now being converted to ISO and then I will simply create a flip book. Now my design has been saved right here. So I'll go to my library. Once the document is saved, now you will go to ISO and you can go to the publications and it will take you right here. Now this is the flip book that we have created and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. And you can see our flipbook is ready. It has 10 pages. To flip the page, you click in this option and it shows you the flipbook that you have created. You can see how easy it is. And this is the flipbook that I went with. Perfect. To watch it on full screen, select this. And now you have a flipbook to read or work on. With Isu, we can also convert an already created PDF. Let's say you are a freelancer and you provide a service of creating flip books and you can also, you know, you can just create a gig saying that I will convert your PDFs into flip books. So you can just upload a, a file from your drive or Dropbox. So click on upload file and you can upload from your computer. Let's say the file is already created and you do not want to create it on Canva. So you will just directly go to isu.com and upload file from this option right here or we also get the upload option here. So it opens up your uh, gallery for you and it allows you to create a new flip book. So it's actually really easy to do and you can also integrate isu into other platforms to create menus, to create books and more. When it comes to sales, uh, we can also keep track of our sales with, with ISO. And what we can do is we can actually create subscriptions for our ebooks and we can keep track of that right here and also do the payment settings. In payment settings, it's actually really easy to just add different integrations, add your social media, add your payment methods, for example, Stripe, PayPal and others. So you just connect the method right here. And you can actually create a flipbook with ISO and sell it online, make money, keep track of your sales, also add easy payment methods, keep track of your stats, everything within one platform. So ISO.com is actually a really good platform to create flipbooks from PDFs. I actually showed you how to create a PDF and then simply add it to, you know, ISO or you can just upload from your computer. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. And now you know how to create an interactive flipbook PDF ebook very easily. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.